Let's go watch it in 2D. No, let's go watch it in 3D. But if we watch it in 3D, then is it worth the cost? Wouldn't it be amazing to discover someplace no one's ever seen before? Really? I would love to see that. This Friday. Ariel, wait for me! The Wonder. Isn't it beautiful? The magic. She belongs to me. The adventure. Give me your hand! Experience it all in 3D. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Disney's The Little Mermaid. Rated PG in theaters Friday. Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf, and today I'm reviewing The Little Mermaid. This is the live action 2023 Disney movie. And before I get into the review itself, I do want to say that we're not having a written review again. We are continuing with the solidarity with the writer's strike. And movies like this are are great examples to why great writing is important. Because I feel like the writing here is pretty bad. So uh, we will not have a written review. This podcast is everything you get. Now on to the review itself. Let's get to the 3D aspect first. Um, the 3D here is gorgeous, and uh, I watched this in Adobe Cinema, Adobe Cinema Experience, and oh boy, uh, this is a treat. I wish every movie I've seen is in Adobe Cinema now, <laughs> because the hi- um, high dynamic range you see in this is beautiful. This is one beautifully shot movie, and um, the 3D complements the beauty so perfectly. It, it just, there's a lot of pop, there's a lot of depth. It really gets you a sense that you're in the water with the cast. And it, it does a great job of handling even the dark scenes. The movie just really is vibrant and beautiful. And the 3D really is perfect for this movie. I was really worried as the first trailer for this movie released. And it was really dark. And that darkness is nowhere near in this movie. Um, at least not in this Dobie cinema that I saw it in. I feel like it was bright. It was even the dark scenes were lit well. Um, I, I thought it was a lot of action scenes that were actually really, really well done. Um, there's a scene with a shipwreck that was really fantastic in 3D. There was, um, of course, the great song of "Under the Sea" is gorgeous in 3D. Um, now, 3D isn't perfect. I will say that some of the scenes that were on land were uh, mediocre at best. And I just kind of, okay. So when you get under the sea, you know, there's definitely gets a lot better. Um, you get to see bubbles and you get to see fish everywhere. Um, I fe- definitely feel like if you're a 3D fan, you will enjoy this a lot. And there's a lot of times where things are flying at the screen. Things were popping out, had great depth, multiple layers. This is a beautiful 3D movie. If it wasn't for some of the on land scenes that were just kind of mediocre, I would probably give this the highest score I could give it. But Overall, I was very happy with the 3D aspect. Maybe it was just my Adobe Cinema, but I've very much enjoyed my time seeing Little Mermaid. If you decide to see this movie at all, I definitely think you should see it in 3D. So, uh, I guess my final score is great 3D. Now, on to the movie itself. So, this live-action remake, um, it's really been controversial because... Little Mermaid, the main star here, is Halle Bailey, and she's Ariel, and she's black, and of course, a lot of people have been, you know, don't want to see race changes in their movies, and for the most part, I feel like Disney has done a good job in remaking most of their movies. Um, Where this movie falters is that it's boring. It's boring. It is slow and boring, and it's poorly written. And it drags. And did I say it's boring? Because it, this movie feels like it's four hours long. It's two and a 15. It feels like four. It's just like, oh my god, get to it. And it, the movie has too much singing. Look, I, I know there's a lot of great iconic songs here. And I understand that. Okay, cool. I definitely want to see Under the Sea here. I definitely want to see some of the other songs. But... They kind of just have too many. They have some bonus ones, and they have some other things that I didn't feel like were necessary to be singing. And it just kind of, it's like, stop it. Stop it, movie. Enough. Yes, Holly Bailey can sing. 
She's fantastic. I will not give take away anything from her. She absolutely has the pipes to be Ariel, and she's a fantastic singer. But you overplayed your hand here. It's too much. <sighs> so, what's the plot here? Um, the plot is pretty simple. You have Little Mermaid here, um, where you feel like Little Mermaid, she wants to learn about humans to be part of the human world, and um, she has an encounter with Prince Eric, and she wants to get to know more of the world, and she loses her voice, and she has to, you know, she tries to become a human for a few days. Um, so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and confess something first. I don't really love the original Little Mermaid. Um, the animated movie is an important movie for Disney. I will do not take that away from the importance of Disney for this, um, or for Disney. The Little Mermaid was the first one that, oh, wow, okay, Disney can have really great animated movies again, or we could really pop with these great music scenes, and this is the first one I really, really enjoyed, because before this, there was a bunch of other animated Disney movies that are kind of forgettable, and didn't do that much well in the box office, and this one really did well, and people really like it. And this is the kind of the start of that new renaissance for Disney that, you know, continued on with Aladdin and Lion King. And um, the, so I understand the importance of it. I don't think that original movie was great to begin with. I thought it was pretty good, but not great. And to make a remake of that, it's like, okay, what are you going to do? Okay, well, live action remakes usually have, um, you know, some bonus scenes and some extra content to kind of fresh things out and maybe change this and that. And I felt like... The movie, I said it before and I'll say it again, it's boring. It's boring, it's boring, it's boring, it's boring, it's boring, it's boring. It's slow and boring. And it feels like it's four hours long. And I was like, two or three times I looked at my watch. And I was like, Ugh, is this movie not over yet? I'm bored. I, I want to fall asleep. This is so boring. This is the most boring Disney live action we make since Cinderella. And that's the biggest complaint I have about it. It's boring! <laughs> Oh my god, how many times am I going to say it? This is boring. This is absolutely a chore to watch because of how boring it is. There's some action scenes here and there. It's peppered in to make things more interesting. Yes. But, I mean, the writing here is just so basic. And I feel like the characters here are just so basic. The prince is just so basic. Prince Eric. He has no charisma. They try to give him charisma, but it just doesn't... Man, it just, he's bland. And King Triton is here, has a lot bigger role than I thought. And Javier Bardem usually is really good, and this one, he's just so basic. He, he, it's just one note. And Ursula here for Melissa McCarthy, you know, I usually like her, Melissa McCarthy. Usually. I don't know if this performance here is the worst performance she's ever had. I think it's worse than the 2016 Ghostbusters remake. I think this is one of Melissa McCarthy's worst ever movie roles. And I, I am stunned by that. I thought she'd be great as Ursula. And she just doesn't have any kind of charisma there. I think, I guess, a great. not only is the movie boring, it just lacks magic. That Disney magic that I, I you expect. No, it doesn't have it. It just doesn't work. And I, I didn't want to walk into this movie hating this movie. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care. They're black. I don't care. You know, whatever. I don't it matter to me. And I, I don't like it because it's boring. Because it's slow. Because there's too much going on. There's too many songs. And the, the characters are bland. And there's there's quite a lot of moments here. I'm not going to spoil this movie. That are just WTF moments. And I was like, seriously? That's the decision? You decided that this movie should go? That that doesn't make any sense. Um, and it's like, no, no. And the ending, I thought was like, I actually literally said, you know, pretty quietly because you know, I'm in the theater. I actually said WTF. The ending. The ending is just weird. And um, it's just, yeah. They even have a, a, a new song with Aquafina, and she's rapping. Oh my god, that was cringe. Um, I usually like Aquafina, but I don't like her in this at all. Um, her voice just was grating on to me. I don't know if it's just the Dolby Cinema has, you know, amazing speakers, but it was just like, 
basically every time this character talked, it was like hearing, you know, nails on a chalkboard because it was just so sharp and it hurts to hear her voice as scuttle. And she's a main character here. So I usually like Aquafina. Her voice doesn't bother me. It bothered me in this. Usually I like Melissa McCarthy. I don't like her in this. I have no problem with the uh, main character being black. She had, she did as good as she probably could in this situation, but she was given a basic role, and you know a third of the movie is she doesn't speak at all, and she does what she can, but the movie itself just doesn't work. I'm sorry. I wanted to like this. I I I I don't. I feel bad. I feel bad not liking this movie. It's pretty. Yeah, I, I like that it's racially diverse. Cool. Um, most. The songs are well sung, um, but there's so many WTF moments that I was just like, oh my god, no, that's not how people react. No, that makes no sense. No, that's stupid. And usually I'm totally game to just let go. It's the Disney movie, let it go, and I can't. This bothered me to no end, and I think this is a bad movie. I think this is a bad remake. I think this feels too long for what it is, and it's just not worth watching. It's worth watching in 3D, but the movie itself is pretty bad. So, yeah, this is not worth your time. Yeah. Uh, Little Mermaid is a bad movie. I wish I could say more without spoiling it, but I really can't. Um, the characters are bland. It's, it's poorly written. The dialogue is stupid. There's a lot of things that were just like... That wouldn't happen. If, and the songs, some of the songs, some stuff doesn't work in live action. The whole kiss the girl scene, it's, it's really weird. It just doesn't work. And then the, the fish having the cartoon eyes and mouth, it's, it, no, it never worked. So don't watch this movie. It's a four out of ten. It, it, it's bad. It's just, it's frustrating. But I, I, I wanted to like this movie. I really did. Usually I do like these movies, but not this one. That's going to be it for me. Bye. Before this podcast wraps up, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you, Kano 3D, MK Ultra, Kevin Winter, Alex Folk, and Gravity Head Zero for your financial support on Patreon.com. You can find 3D or 2D on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and more. Just look for 3D or 2D. Thank you for either listening or watching this podcast. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye.